what you're ready for this man hey everybody welcome to another big vapors e-juice review so in this episode, I'm going to do something a little different than I normally do. We're going to talk about a handful of gourmet e-juices from Crave. So, Crave e-juice. So, these are gourmet e-juices. Um, but more so than the fact that they're gourmet, they are also all-natural, organic e-juices with no nicotine. So these are nicotine free e-juices. So that's what kind of makes this different than what I normally do because I rarely myself personally, I don't actually uh, vape uh, nicotine free uh, e-juice. That's just my particular preference. I like nicotine in my e-juice, but a lot of people vape nick free e-juice and I even have a few friends that uh, started with Nick and, and went down to, to zero Nick. And then I know some people who were never even smokers who decided that they wanted to vape and they ended up vaping uh, zero Nick e-juice. So there is actually a lot of zero Nick e-juice out there. And of course, because of certain laws in certain countries, etc., you do find a lot of zero Nick uh, e-juice because it is illegal in certain places to sell it. So Enough of the political mumbo jumbo, enough of personal preferences, et cetera, et cetera. I was contacted online by Crave and I was asked to do a bunch of um, reviews and I said I would do a bunch of honest reviews on Crave. Now, I admit I've been sitting on these e-juices for a while now. There's quite a few. They sent me about, uh, I'm looking at at least eight different e-juices that they sent me from their uh, collection. Um, what's interesting to note about Crave, you can check out their website, uh, craveejuice.com. Uh, is that it's a uh, it's a little different than what you would normally expect. These these are like I said, they're all natural, organic flavorings. Um, it's very different, and, and some of the guys behind this, from what I can what I gather from the website and from some of the research I've done, uh, are professional um, chefs. They're in the culinary arts, so there's actually a lot of uh, experimenting and um, you know science that went into creating these e juices. And from what I understand, they also have some brick and mortar stores where you can. Uh, purchase this stuff uh, from an actual store. So, so this is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to only can, uh, cover uh, a few today. We're going to do uh, banana, peach, and uh, black cherry uh, in this episode. And then uh, we'll do another one uh, a little later of some of the other flavors that they sent me. So let's talk about these organic flavorings. First, let's take a look at the packaging. Really cool packaging. Um, I apologize for the lighting. I seem to have lost some lighting in the in the office, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Very cool packaging. Comes in a little box um, with all the ingredients and everything on here. What's nice about this is that all the ingredients are on here. So real quickly, natural and organic flavoring, natural vegetable glycerin and organic flavor, natural ethyl alcohol, organic vegetable uh, glycerin. So those are some of the product uh, ingredients that are used in this product and they are from British Columbia, Canada. So very cool. These are the bottles also, very nice. One of the things I noticed about them, and I think this could just be due to the fact that there were a whole bunch of them in one envelope, but when I first received uh, the package, I could smell it before I even opened it. And when I, it still actually has a smell inside. Yes, I'm smelling an envelope. <laughs> um, but they're, they are extremely aromatic. Um, they are almost like perfume. It almost reminds me of essential oils and things like that. They are very strong, not in a bad way, but a very strong, strong smell I got from them. But again, it could be because there were so many together. Cause I noticed now that they've been out, they've aired out and they have them on their own. The smell is still incredible. I I'm amazed at how much they just exude smell. I mean, it's incredible. But yes, it reminded me a lot of perfumes and I wasn't sure what to think of these juices and if they were just going to be overly scented and, or whatnot, right? So <clears throat> let's start with the banana. So this is a banana, 10 mil, uh, all VG, vegetable glycerin and um, all natural ethyl alcohol and uh, organic flavoring. So all natural organic uh, banana flavorings in here. So this is the banana. I got it on my LT <clears throat> 1.5, 
and I'm vaping it on a 1.6 low res dual coil uh, atomizer. So let's take at uh, what's my voltage at here? I believe I'm at uh, yeah, I'm at 4.2 volts. So yeah, they produce a lot of vapor. Man, I can't get over the flavor, actually. <laughs> um, I'm impressed. Um, and maybe it's because I don't vape a lot of uh, zero Nick e juice and I don't vape a lot of organic. But man, the flavor is really pure. Like, it tastes like it's it's organic. It's all natural. It really tastes like banana. It doesn't have, like, a candied flavor or a manufactured flavor or a, you know, a food flavoring like you would get. It, it, it really has a very nice... Uh, flavor. Um, the only issue I have with it is the fact that it's zero nick and there's like no throat hit, none whatsoever. Like, I just I can't I can't get any throat hit off of it. None. But it tastes really good. It vapes really well. It smells absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, the flavor is freaking dead on. I wish more e-juice people, uh, vendors, providers, uh, used uh, all natural organic flavoring because it's uh, it's pretty kick-ass. I have to admit that. All right, let's move on to another flavor before I make this video exceptionally long. Organic peach. Also, really nice flavor. It smells very sweet. I actually haven't tried this yet. This is going to be my first organic peach Crave e-juice vape. So let's do this. Oh, a little gurgly. Lots of vapor. It's good. Um, not a huge peach guy. Actually, in fact, I lie. The first juice I ever purchased when I first started vaping was a 100% VG peach. It was thick as hell, I gotta tell you. This is actually, these are not thick. They're not that viscous, even though they're all VG, and I think that's because of the ethyl alcohol. So technically, it's probably like a 50-50 between the, the VG and the ethyl, but I, I can't really uh, tell. Am I saying, is it ethyl? Yeah, it's ethyl, right? I'm not saying that... Uh, incorrectly yeah ethyl alcohol i don't know for some reason just inside i guess because i'm just not used to saying that when it comes to e-juice um but yeah i mean the flavor is dead on it's very peachy it smells great it smells real it smells like a peach like it definitely has that organic all natural you know all natural feel to it which is actually very very cool but again, there is no throat hit. I mean, it's zero nick. You're not going to feel the throat hit. Um, this is a very different kind of a vaping experience. Um, I can tell you this, though. I have some friends who vape zero nick, as I mentioned already, zero nick e-juices, and I had them try these, and uh, they really enjoyed them. Um, they liked them. Uh, one of my friends, in fact, even mentioned that it's probably one of the best he had, um, and he just truly, really dug the flavoring, and I sent him all the information, and hopefully he's gone to Crave and purchased uh, some juices for himself, but you know, kudos. These guys are doing something very unique, very different. The whole idea of all natural, organic. Um, I think it's cool. I think it's nice to know that you know we're vaping something that truly you can say is healthy for you. Uh, no nicotine, no additives. You know, it's all natural. It's organic. That's cool. That's awesome. And I really dig that premise. Um, but for me personally, I probably wouldn't wouldn't vape them often because I really do like that nick and I really enjoy that throat hit. All right, let's take a look at the last one for today. And this is the black cherry. Ooh, that smells really good. I like black cherry. I really like black cherry with chocolate. Mmm, yummy. That might be a really interesting uh, mix. All right. So gurgly, my Addy, today. It's not even flooded. Ah, oh, it's getting old. Freaking awesome. I mean, honestly, the flavor is, is spectacular. It really is dead on. Um, it's just, again, no nick, no throat hit, 
and extremely aromatic. I mean, they are very perfumey. It's definitely smelling like perfumes in uh, my office right now. So that's Crave. I mean, the concept, the mission, the idea, gourmet, all natural, healthy, uh, zero, you know, Nick free uh, e-juice. What's really cool is too that they ha they sell, I believe, all natural flavorings for all kinds of things, stuff that you can use in your food, uh, that you can use in tea. Um, they they handcraft, hand produce um, all of these different flavorings themselves. That is really cool. So these guys are actually manufacturers, producers, uh, designers of flavors, which is I think a very cool thing. And there's and like I said, I have not come across anything quite like this before in the vaping community. So if you are a zero nick vapor, if you love vaping, uh, the, the organic, the, the, the uh, all natural, uh, a very different experience kind of stuff, definitely check out Crave E-Juice. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We will do another episode. We, who's we? Me and my my uh, mod. I will do another episode uh, shortly with some of the other juices uh, that they provided me. I'm kind of looking forward to uh uh, talking about the spiced black honey, and the other one was a Thai. Oh, what was it called? Very cool, organic Thai. So that's going to be an interesting one to talk about. So, uh, lots more stuff coming soon. Lots of other reviews. Um, you know, follow me on the blog, bigvapors.wordpress.com. Uh, follow me on Twitter uh, at Digibomb, and uh, I'll see you on the flip side. I'm going to leave you with one last toot of this all organic, all natural, uh, no nick e juice from Crave, and this is the black cherry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, you're ready for this, man. What